Hey YouTube, this is Brian from Custom Fast RC, bringing you the first update video of the Custom X01. As you can see, I went with the red anodizing on this one, toned it down a little bit though, kind of went with the matted red instead of the high gloss mirror look. Been wanting to try that out, kind of like the way it looks. High gloss is awesome also. Just another option for anodizing. Drive lines all together. I did lock up the rear end. The rear end is posi. I'm going to try another option there too. I went ahead and filled that diff full of JB weld. They do make spools for these setups, but always looking to try different things. The front end I did uh, I did not lock the front but I put a 1 million weight diff lube in the front see how that works the shocks that I'm going to be using on this build are stock X01 shocks with some uh, hot racing upgrades on them Usually stock GTRs come with plastic caps, retainers, and thumb screws. Hot Racing does make aluminum aftermarket for those parts. Show you some part numbers here. Hopefully you guys can see that. On the top you got the spring adjusters, the shot caps, and the thumb screws. So yeah, if you want to dress up your GTR shocks, you go ahead and uh, get these from Hot Racing. And uh, they do come silver. I have not seen them anodized in any other colors yet. So I went ahead and stripped those down and uh, obviously anodized those red. The arms I used were from Fastlane Machine. I've had those laying around for about a year now. Been dying to use them on something. I figured it, uh, the X01 build would be a good opportunity to use them. Those also only come in silver. Strip the clear coat off those and anodize those red also. I think I'm gonna upgrade the tie rods here. Get rid of this and put an aluminum uh, rod in there. Probably possibly quarter inch so it looks flush all the way across the top. I don't know, anodize them black or red. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with those, but definitely going to upgrade those. The wire you see hanging out of there is the uh, RPM telemetry wire. Right now I have the stock spur gear in there, the plastic one. But I did figure out a way to get that sensor mounted to a hardened steel spur gear, 46 tooth. So I got that on order, so getting that stock spur gear out of there. But yep, so far, very pleased with how it's going. I'm going to stick with the stock X01 axles. Uh, one thing about when you're using aluminum A arms, I don't know if you, when any of you guys ran into sloppiness. The plastic does seem to made up better than the aluminum does, but. The, you're gonna have to do some shimming and some finagling to get that slop out of there. Everything is nice and tight. Steering's nice and tight. And uh, speaking of the steering, I am working on a design right now for an aluminum drag link for this uh, car. Been talking to a few guys, I've been asking about an aluminum drag link. That's the piece that connects the, the left and right steering. So I'll definitely keep you updated on that. There's a guy selling them on eBay right now from the Netherlands. I think he's charging 30 bucks plus 25 for shipping or something like that. So basically you're paying 50 bucks for a little piece of aluminum. I'm definitely not going to hit you guys nowhere near that. So look forward to that. Hoping one day somebody comes out with aluminum uh, bell cranks for this build, but a couple guys out there said they were going to try to hook up a slash 
belt crank on there and see what happens with the uh, exit one drag link so that's another thing we're going to be looking forward to yep this car will totally be telem telemetried out rpm temperature motor temperature all that good stuff plus i've been dying to give this gps speed telemetry module a try I will be running the stock receiver and stock radio on this build also. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about giving all that stuff a try. See how accurate the GPS module actually is compared to a Garmin. Just to let you guys know, when it comes time to run this car, I will not be running it hard. This build is going to be dedicated to my mother, like I mentioned in a previous video. I do not want to tear it up. And that's about it for right now. As always, if you guys got any questions, please hit me up. I always do my best to help you guys out. The next update video will be next weekend. We're going to start bolting some more stuff on this bad boy. And see where she goes from there. But until next time, you guys have a good night. Talk to you later.